Hey YouTube. Well, we got a new fridge. It's pretty cool. Nice makeup water. It's just a fridge. The Samsung fridge. Now, it replaces this old one. 14 year old Western house. All the seals are worn, worn flat, mouldy. I think it's time for a new one. So how does a friggin' new fridge relate to my YouTube channel? It's not a motorbike or a solar panel, so... But it relates because it sucks. No, really, it sucks. It sucks a lot of power. Now, I used to be able to use kettle, which is a thousand watts. We used to make a jug, jug full of hot water for everyone's coffees in the morning and do eight rounds of toast at about a thousand watts for each round and still have battery power to boot this morning at 3.33 the batteries went flat <sighs> that sucks so now I need more batteries it just draws an enormous amount of power. Now, my thinking was, we got a new fridge, it would be more efficient. Yes, it's bigger, yes, it's got water, yes, it's got ice, but it would be more efficient. The old fridge often didn't get closed properly and the motor run all night long, and the battery still didn't go flat. Well, we've had the fridge for two days and two nights, and two nights in a row we've run out of batteries. Now, that leads me to another problem. Now. Um, so we're charging the batteries at the moment and they're coming good again. So we've got 700 volts But this software here this MPP solar patrol Great software If you want to use the the changeover function and you've got enough batteries the limitation lies That it seems to change I've got my watch power set to change over, to change back to grid at 22 volts on the batteries, which is low, but I don't care. I've said it before, they're old batteries, meh, who cares? So 22 volts, it returns to grid. Um, and then it'll only return back to batteries again when it gets to 24 and a half volts. So if it goes off at three o'clock in the morning, it doesn't come back on again until about seven when the sun kicks in and the batteries start charging again. Now this software, MPP Solar, seems to overwrite that function. Well, probably doesn't overwrite it. It's just got its own built-ins. So uh, let's see if I can do this. I love using the mouse, trying to locate it through the video, through my iPhone. What this software does is simply 10 minutes later, after it transfers, just 10 minutes later, it transfers back again, irrespective of what the battery voltage is. Which is shit. Well, it's shit for me. It may not be shit for everybody else left of the sun, but it sucks. So there you go, boys and girls. There's another drawback of this software. MPP Solar Patrol. Great for switching backwards and forwards and automatically, but it does it. The last video, I think it was the last video, I said it was a great companion software. Well, based on this alone, no, nah, it's not a companion. Drives me crazy, actually. I mean, it's good. It, oh, and also it changes at 23 volts. Yeah, so this turns itself off at 23 volts rather than 22 volts, which for me and my small, relatively small battery bank, I've only got 880 amp hours or something, 180, something like that. It, you know, I want it to get to 22 volts. I got enough solar to charge it during the day, so it'll fully charge them, it'll float them up by one o'clock and then they just sit there topping off for the rest of the day. I could probably do it with another couple of batteries, but yeah, so it's time to jump online and start chasing around and seeing if I can find some more cheap batteries. I don't have any plan on spending a thousand dollars on batteries, so I'll have to see what I can come up with. Self-employed, self-imposed financial limits. 
after all this is a toy that's never going to pay for itself so I just want to do it as cheap as possible and have some fun while I'm getting there a bit like a hooker no a hooker you don't want a cheap hooker anyways we won't go there anyway cheers for now YouTube out